So now we're going to learn how to uh, solve a 3x3 three three system using Kramer's rule. And it's back to the topic of matrices again. And uh, I think the easiest way to explain Kramer's rule is actually one of the uh, uh, simpler ways, easier than the inverse, in my opinion, which I'll explain in another video. But Kramer's rule, Kramer's rule to me is actually one of the simplest uh, uh, ways to solve a 3x3 three three system. And uh, the easiest way, I would say, to do this is to lay it out, which is you need to find the determinant, which is the to me is like a main determinant, and then you also have to find determinant x, determinant y, and determinant z. Hopefully, I have enough room. Okay, basically, I need to find these. Uh, let me make some room actually for this. Determine x, determine y. So I have room to write. So basically, you need these four uh, numbers. And then what happens is, think about it this way. After this, the answer to x is always going to be x is equal to determinant x over determinant. I'll just, make, I'll just leave it at D -D -T, Okay, y would be determinant y over determinant z will equal to determinant z over determinant. So if you see this, this is where you're trying to go. Okay. So once you find these four, you just plug it into here, and then boom, that's your answer. That's it. So the hardest part is right now finding the determinant. So let's do that right now. Okay. And uh, let's put it into three by three matrices for determinant, the main determinant, the determinant x, determinant y, and determinant z. And the easiest way to do this, to remember this, is determinant is always the coefficients for the x, y's, and z's. Okay, so let's just copy that. We get 1, uh, negative 1, 3, 1, 1, negative 2, negative 1, 2, 3, right? So I have my first uh, uh, matrices here, 3 by 3. And now I'm going to do x. And watch what I do is I will leave x blank, this row blank, okay? And just copy these y's and z's right now, okay? That's the easiest way. So you have, let's see, 1, 1, negative 2, so negative 1, 2, 3, okay? And now I'm going to do the determinant of y, okay? Which I'm going to leave this blank, and I'm just going to copy this. So I get 1, negative 1, 3, and I get negative 1, 2, 3, and then let's do z, okay? z will be, let's see, so you leave z blank, okay? And make room for it later because you have to fill out something. Uh, you'll get 1, negative 1, 3, uh, let's see, 1, 1, negative 2, okay? And then what you do at the end is that you see this equal sign here? Uh, everything right of this, you copy back into all the blank spots. <laughs> so that's the easiest way to remember this. So that's what I usually do. OK, so now I've got my four deter uh, determinants all set on my 3 by 3 matrices. So the method, if you watch my other video that I like using, uh, is doing the columns method to find the determinant. So what I do is I'm just going to copy these two columns. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my other video regarding the three by three uh, matrix, uh, ma three, three by three matrix to get to solve versus get the determinant solving uh, the columns method. So we're going to do the columns method, which is co copy these two columns, which is this. Okay, we're going to just copy all of them and try and make it as quick and painless as possible. Okay, so I just copy the first two columns on every single one, okay? And then what I do is I multiply across, okay, to uh, find, like I said, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my other video regarding how to find the determinant using columns method. So it'll be one times one times three is three, plus 1 times 2 times 3 is 6, plus 
negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 2 would be negative 2. And then you subtract, right? And then you'll get, let's see, uh, you're going this way now. Since you, after you go that way, you go this way. And you get negative 3. I like to put everything in parentheses, so I remember I have to subtract everything. Um, so you get negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Okay. Uh, now you get 3 times negative 1 times 1, you get negative 3. Okay. So you just have to calculate that, and you'll get, let's see, uh, 9 plus negative 2, 7, 7 minus this. Negative 3 minus 4, negative 7, negative 7 minus 3, negative 10. So, which you get 17. So my first number I already know is going to be 17. 17, 17, 17. Kind of fun in some ways, even. I already filled out three, three numbers right there. <laughs> so now I just need determine x, determine y, determine z. So same thing, Collins method. The Collins method is the easiest way. I mean, I have to experiment it a lot of times, and Collins method is the best method. Negative 3 times uh, 3 times 1 times negative 9, right? Let me keep it separated so I know. Let's do it right here. Okay. 1 times 2 times 7 is 14. Negative 1 times 0, anything times 0 is a 0. And then I subtract, and I put parentheses, make sure I subtract the whole thing. 7 times uh, 1 times negative 1 is negative 7. Negative 2 times 2 times negative 3 is uh, 12. 3 times 0, I love the zeros. <laughs> okay. And you'll get, let's see, dun, 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 uh, 5 minus negative 7 plus 12 is 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. So I know x is probably going to be 0. Hopefully there's no arithmetic problems. So I already know x is going to be 0 already. Okay. Now let's do a determinant y. Okay, same thing. First one is 0 because that does, you know, anything of 0. And then negative 3 times 2 times 3, you get negative 18. Negative 1 times negative 1 times 7, you get positive 7. And then you subtract everything again. Okay, so do this way. 3 times 0 is 0. 7 times 2 times 1, you get um, 14. 3 times negative 1 times negative 3, you get um, positive 9. And you'll get, dun, 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 let's see, negative 11 minus, uh, this is what, 23? So you get negative 34. Okay, so now you plug in here, negative 34. As you can see, that's going to become negative 2, so, but we'll get to that in a second. So let's do determine z now. Same thing, 1 times 1 times 1, 7. Here's a 0. Okay, 1 times 0 times 3 is 0. Negative 3 times negative 1 times negative 2. That's a negative 6, right? And then subtract. Subtract what? Well, let's see. 3 times 1 times negative 3, negative 9. Okay. Negative 2 times 0, anything times 0 is 0. 7 times negative 1 times 1, you get negative 7. Okay. So you'll get, let's see, on the top, you get 1 minus. That would be, I keep forgetting these uh, close parentheses. <laughs> um, negative 9 plus negative uh, 16, you get, uh, I mean, negative 9 plus negative 7 is negative 16. Okay, so 1 minus negative 16 is 17. Okay, so there's 17 here. So you'll see x is equal to 0, y is equal to negative 2, right? Negative 14 divided by 17. 17 over 17 is just 1. So my solution is x is 0, y is negative 2, and z is 1. So it's kind of like putting a, together a little puzzle. Uh, I like to make it uh, so it looks really kind of more fun this way to do it. I just set up all my x, y's, and z's with the determinants, and you know, I'm, it's already ready to go, you know, and I just kind of just plug all the numbers in. It's like a game. I mean, sometimes you make it fun as fun as you can with anything. <laughs> so I hope that helps, you know, with you understanding the Kramer's rule and Learning the columns method is the best method. See how little 
numbers there is, calculations. The other method stinks. Collins method is the best method. Your teacher lets you use the Collins method, do the Collins method to find determinants. The other way is takes more time, is more mistakes. This, this is the best method. If you have any questions, leave comments or any suggestions. Let me know for any videos that you're looking for. Thank you.